Okay. You're not working. Why are you not working? You know, I had you working just fine yesterday. Huh? Uh, now it crashed. <laughs> um, okay. Try that again. I've been playing this thing over the weekend, so I've, I swear it, it worked. Hey, there we go. All right. Hello. I'm back. Oh, my God. That fucking New Year just came out like with... Oh, hang on. Let's see that. Watch this. Alrighty, okay, so here we are with some Empire Total War. Uh, I was messing around when I was sick um, earlier because, yeah, no, if anyone's been watching the Discord, they'll kind of get a rough draft of the story going on. But let's just say this uh, this New Year's just kind of came in with a one two combo, and it's like, fuck. Because there was some. Um, there's a pretty serious fire incident while my aunt was over here. I mentioned this earlier before, but it's just going more and more into details about that, more and more into the worry, because it was pretty close, a lot closer than we all just kind of want to believe. So, ugh. And then, of course, like, literally the same week that happens as the party aunt left, I get down with COVID along with the... Three other family, no, two other family members, not three. I am the third one. So, I was basically dead for like an entire week and a half. I just couldn't, I couldn't breathe in the beginning, and then I had no energy afterwards, and then I became extremely weak for the third part. So, it's like every time I'm thinking, it's like, okay, I'm getting better, I'm getting better, I can breathe now. Okay, no, it's, I can't, I can't stay awake. And then it's just like, after that, any 
regular activity beforehand, even if it's just like going to the fucking grocery store to pick things up, I just got so goddamn tired afterwards. I had to crash really badly. But in that time, I stumbled upon pis- uh, I was going to say something much worse. Pixelated Apollo once again. Saw some Napoleon Total Wars and it's like, yeah. I never actually did really beat Empire Total War, so I figure we'll go over here again into Grand Campaign. This is the Darth mod, which is really the only way to play this because I played it both regular and then Darth mod just to compare once again, and it's it's night and day difference. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's still frustrating as all hell, and I've also been pre-playing this to get used to that. To get used to like the frustrations of the total war once again. And as we can see, like right here for game difficulty or game length, the UI is still kind of messed up because old game, all that. And we're going to start with uh, the Mahara Confederacy only because the Mahara is kind of in an area where it's a lot more quieter in the beginning. Oh, don't worry, India will blow up. Figuratively and literally pretty soon. But I figured this is uh, the faction probably best to kind of just ease our way back into this game. Because looking at everyone else, they appear to be in the heart of conflict. Which is not really our best suit right now as we are trying to relearn this. So, Mahara, campaign difficulty, very hard. Battle difficulty, hard. 60 minute fightings, these fights take long, long time. So, we also have to get used to that part as well. No, I think you're hearing a repeat of me, actually. Turn that volume down just a little bit. Go with that. Oh, also. No music, unfortunately. Darth Mod pulls in a bunch of film music, and just in battles alone, I've heard like several different scores from several different movies. It's like, wait, I can't have that. I can't have that. Oh, this one's not bad. Yeah. Oh, wait, I recognize this. Now we can't have that either. So there's going to be no music, unfortunately. It's just easier. And that's not even taking into account anything on the campaign map. I've only recognized battle map music. But it'd be too much of a hassle to just kind of keep switch the music back on, switch back off. So, unfortunately, no music. But other than that, it's good to finally be back on the schedule. I was, like, going stir-crazy for so long when I was down with the COVID. And it's just... I want to do stuff, but then I couldn't because I couldn't risk the infection spreading throughout the house and like disabling the whole house. We do have one high at risk person. She's got asthma, but taking disabling the entire house is also kind of not a good idea as well. Aside from getting the high at risk is sick as well. But yeah, no, I went on, uh, while I was sick, I went on like a binge of the Napoleon Total War custom battles that Pixelated Apollo has. And I was like, yeah, why not? Let's go take a look at that genre for a little bit. So I've been watching Patriot with Mel Gibson playing Darth Maud. Just exploring. <clears throat> mm, last of the Mohicans as well. That is always a good one. Wow, the microphone can you even hear that?
it is unfortunately making the uh, background boring without the music. Come on, you can do it. There you go. There you go. Progress. You got it. And. Hey, there we go. Your time has come. Hmm. The once powerful Mughal Empire is crumbling. Now the Maratha kingdoms must unite and rise against their oppressors. As such, your priorities should be to begin pushing northwards into Mughal territory. Although the majority of the population is Hindu, their Muslim rulers will be trying to convert as many people as possible across the land. Prevent large-scale conversions by assassinating their Imam teachers if you can. Sending Thargis to their cities will give you intelligence about Mughal forces. The fuck? European powers have begun to show interest in India for the trade wealth they know they can obtain. The Portuguese and Dutch already have a foothold on Indian soil, and the British and French are close behind them. It may be prudent to maintain trade with foreigners, to ally with one or the other for mutual benefit, or to drive them out of your lands altogether. In the latter case, it would be sensible to develop trade capabilities and technological research of your own. It's kind of jumping all over the place. All good? All right, we're all good. Maybe. Jesus. Come on. Okay, there it goes. All right. Research reveals so, it is really choppy for some reason. Educated man. Yes, yes, I know this. Going to philosophy. We'll go for... I want that technology research rate up. Um, plug bayonets. Again, I have played just a little bit just to reacquaint myself. And I know for a fact that we do have the Hindu warriors here. So we don't really need to rely on bayonets for a little while. Carbines for the Pindari horsemen. Canister shots and better cannons are always good. And then, of course, we have some agricultural stuff. Uh, no, I think we'll go for social contract. Again, I want that research rate up. Kind of just be that long because it's only a matter of time before the British or the French do come over here. And let's just see. Okay, Portugal is indifferent. It's indifferent, but we are already trading with the Dutch. They got allies in Austria and Great Britain. So, military access, five turns, military alliance, single payment, and trade agreement. Yeah, see, the problem is I can't tell what's a good deal or what's not still. Because another thing is, ships can move fucking far in this game. They can literally be, be over here in the Bay of Bengal and be all the way over to the Goa Goa. How do I know this? From the test playthroughs. And it's just real ass of them to do that. Shut down my ports. Sure, I'll go for this. I, I need allies. I'll get Austria. Guard it well, as your enemies will attempt to raid it, potentially ruining your economy. Guys. All right. So at the very least, we have two allies with the Dutch and the Austrians over here. Uh, let's see, forty percent. See if we can try and oust these guys out if we have Hinduism spread far enough. Uh -huh. 
Swordsman, an archer, some peasant mob, and of course the general's bodyguard. I got three guns over here. One swordsman, a cavalry, an elephant. You are the three cavalry. You are. There are currently no troops stationed at this fort. Three guns, one sword, cannons, and cavalry. Occupied by an enemy army. I think if these two work together, we can take out. Um, I'm gonna butcher these names. Also, I'm just gonna say that right up the front. What's his name? Amnon Dengar? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just butchered that. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Indukuri. We'll have General Indukuri for right here. I'll find one name that looks pronounceable, and I'll just go with that all the time. Let's get into it. A noisy man is always in the right. Wow. That actually can be used a lot nowadays. Alright then. Here we are with a quick overview of the general on his elephants. We got our horse, our Bakiri infantry. And of course, the Hindu warriors, along with our Sindar lancers. Let's go ahead right here, swordsman. I want you right here. Should run right through you over here. You guys come over there, and uh, I do believe we're ready. Let's get to it. Uh, it's just not going to be the same without any music, that is for sure. But, too many issues. You guys can go right here. just a little oh i should also say this this game is prone to crashes so if we crash there's very obvious reasons why the only real threats here that i can see are these islamic swords so we just gotta watch out on them Keep on going to the back. And here they come. So we're going to get in there. Yeah, there will be audio bugs as well. Not only you do. And they are returning fire. Collision is, surprisingly, a much bigger detail to worry about in this game as well. Let them run away. We gotta get the infantry leveled up as quickly as we can. Because, if you'll notice, they're really inaccurate. These poor swordsmen just running through, getting shot from both sides. Hmm, okay. That's also good, we force them from their defensive position.
You guys start moving. Mm, boy, that pathfinding. Let's reaffirm yourselves. Come on over here. Nah, just run through. Here, turn fire over here. Good. You guys, go ahead and move up right there. And working together with the baggy infantry, yeah, these guys got no problem. Alright. I can go ahead and charge him from over there. I was gonna move up right here. You guys move right there. And they're going in for a charge as well. The back ears should be fine. Leave those guys to be shot. And Lancer's coming in from behind. Very beautiful. Right here, move right through. Sure, reform. Gotta say, I could have sworn the archers were pretty much a garbage unit before, but it may be the difficulty, or it may even be the Darth mod, but they're much more powerful. It's the safest way to level these guys up without sending them directly into conflict. Part of the general now. I gotta say though, comparing vanilla to Darth Maul sound effects, Darth Maul always will take it. Oh, how are you doing? Do you even have an angle? No, they gotta get closer. Get up that hill. Let's go ahead and get these guys into a crossfire. And how are you guys doing over there? Well, they're doing okay. It's a little hard to tell how many numbers they have left. Again, the UI is squished. Here, some of you in position, turn about, come on. They're right there, they're point blank range. You can't miss that badly, right? Yep, you can miss pretty that badly because you can see their shots just flying right over the head, but still working. The fights aren't big right now, but I've had a couple fights already with uh, later on, like just a couple turns in, and it's like, oh, damn, these fights. No special moves, no bonuses to morale or anything, even with your general's presence. It's just, well, not yet at least, but it's just... Guys standing across literal yards from each other and trying to shoot each other with a gun with the accuracy of um, hmm. 
smooth bores? Yeah, no, smooth bores. Still at this rate. Actually, these guys are losing to... Oh, no, they just killed the enemy general right there. You guys from up here. General, come up here. And we're gonna keep on going, but that's a victory right there. But as you can see right there, just this small army alone. That was almost a 10 minute worth of a fight. If this has been Warhammer or any of the others? No, this would have been done like four minutes ago. Oh, these bag years did suffer quite a bit, though. Yeah, the Hindu warriors aren't going to get that close in time. Oh my god, they were slaughtered over here. I don't know, there really is just something so strange about this time of warfare. Let's literally... Get a whole bunch of people, stand mere yards away from each other, and just hope you can shoot them before they shoot you. Can I just... And yeah, see, that's the, uh, that's the other problem right there. You'll tell them to attack, but now, because of the Darth Mod, the units are so massive, and they're all over the place when they break. Um, your people can run literally in the complete opposite direction, trying to kill a sole individual, when there's, like, an easy herd of them right over here, for example. They will make it out of their way to run specifically for this guy, instead of these guys. Or some of these guys as well. All right, we'll end it right there. Very nice. Only, we lost less than a thousand, so that's good. I still got someone there. Now again in this one in this total war as well, you don't need a general to accompany soldiers. You can literally just have captains running around with armies upon armies. Uh, keep on pursuing him. Hmm. Send the thuggy out ahead. Go ahead and give me some eyes. See what else is around us. Income is sitting at, excuse me, 4,943. All right, we'll go ahead and send General Rastam to the north. Keep him under siege. And then we'll go ahead and bring General Janine, uh, yeah, Janili to reinforce him. I'm not going to remember these names. I don't know why I'm trying to... Well... There are currently to just try. I usually always give up the forts. I don't see a point to them right now. Especially when they're like so close to the city. If it weren't for the sheer fact that these things enhance the national prestige, I would not see a use for them. We do want to start building up a navy, even if it is going to be small. So we'll go ahead and get a fifth rate right there. Let's go ahead and start building some things. Let's build though.
You know what? I'll go ahead for some infrastructure first. And let's see. School of Arts. Grand Admiralty. Yeah, just start building up as much as we can. We are making a decent chunk of change for now. Let's head over here and go into our next battle. Oh, excuse me. All right, cannons. Now in Darth Maul, cannon range is astronomical. So you really just need to find one good location, and you should be fine with it. Once you guys come over here, you'll be the main attack force. The Hindu warriors will have coming in from the left, and the lancers coming in from the far left. Boss man, stay over here. They do have mortars, so we do have to watch out for them. And lo and behold, their mortars are literally right in front of us. You guys go ahead and start targeting them right now. You guys target the musketeers. Reform right here. And you guys form up right here. Infantry be ready to charge right through right over there. Okay, this is a good early win for us taking out their mortars. General, I want you up here as well. The cannons target those cavalry first. Yeah, they're musket cavalry, okay. There, can't fire coming in. Okay, okay, not bad. Not a lot of kills, but still something. Finish off that mortar crew. I do not want them coming back in any way, shape, or form. All right, cavalry's all distinguished over there. Let's go ahead and come up right here. If we can get them out in the open and surround them, we can take care of these mob units pretty easily with our Lancers. And, yeah, sure, there's always the argument you can make that it's probably not worth it to target cavalry with artillery because they can just outrun it. But when artillery hits cavalry, it takes out multiples of them at a time. Go ahead and like just kind of create a little wedge formation over there. Try and invite them in. Go ahead and have the main line coming up. We gotta keep them interested. And you guys, a little bit of an angle right there in case these guys do charge over. But it looks like they're content to take this as slow as me, so that's good. Artillery going off again. Will they get a hit? They got one. Uh, you guys go ahead and run into position because here come the musketeers. You guys are ready as well. Alright, the first shots are open up. They do get the early one, but we have two individuals over here right way. Wait, are you guys 
they're not in range. Okay, they actually have a little range advantage on us. Move up. Okay, how about now? Alright, return fire. Two groups. We do have a bit of an angle as well on these shots. Alright, so that's good for us. Don't like that. What we could do... Have you guys go right here. Infantry pull back just a little bit more. And then these guys will answer any of them. Trying to slow them down just a little bit. They do not have the best angle though. That enemy cavalry still back over there. So that's good. No volley fires here, unfortunately. But we are doing pretty decent damage. Go ahead and pull back a little bit more. Same for you guys. Oh, yeah, they come with their cavalry. Hopefully they'll use them as a missile cavalry first. Go ahead and charge right through. You guys, change your target to them. And there we go. Let's go ahead and charge right over there. And right through. I'm not too worried about the mob engaging the Hindu warriors. The Hindu warriors are better at melee combat than the Bagheers. Alright, now you guys go ahead and run right over here. You guys actually turn around and get those musketeers. They're a bigger threat. Over right here. Yeah, see with their swords, and that is an enemy general dead right there. Run this way, don't get too invested over there. You guys, come over here as well. Hit them right there, hit them right here. One of you come this way, actually. You guys, I want you to go ahead and reform the line right over there. Let the cavalry do their work. Cavalry and Hindu warriors clean up this side, no problem. General, come over here. Let's go ahead and turn around. Time to pull away from this fight. The warriors as well. All of you just start trying to run that way. Ah, they charged us. You guys come over here. Uh, they should be doing just fine for a while at least. If I get the generals assisting with their gunfire, should be good. And of course, these guys coming in from behind. Bag air infantry have formed a new battle line along with the Hindu warriors opening fire. Come on, guys, keep holding them back. Alright, and you guys. 
Go ahead and move over here just a little bit. All right, we're chasing them out. You guys pull back as well. You're just going to get shot. Hmm, dances with wolves. That was another one that led me down the uh, musket rabbit hole. Have you guys been firing? No? What do I tell you to do that now? There you go. Right? Yep, there they go. They weren't firing. Uh, you know what, General? Why don't you move out of the way just in case? Can always get usually maximum damage if you hit them like this. But see, already it's like there was. Right now we're on our third main battle of this one battle, I would like to say, because first engagement was over here against the Hindu musketeers that were arriving. The second one, the biggest one, was over here with the cavalry coming in. And the third engagement's right over here now. Alright, they're gonna go by. You guys go ahead and target them. And as they run by, Calvary, you guys go ahead and mop them up. Yeah, see, unfortunately, there's that little hill right here. And that hill won't be fixed until we get to right here at minimum. Sir, I believe you have died standing up. Artillery coming in. No kills, a little... Uh, shaken, but nothing too big just yet. Alright guys, go ahead and move up, I guess. You guys come around over here. And they'll just be mopping up the armed populace right there. the generals start shooting from right there if they can. Or if anything, put more pressure on them. Yeah, as you can see, pathfinding is just an issue. But, surprisingly, I don't get really upset in this one if they're like just retreating like this. It's just par for the course now, really. This is also why I did make the battles like uh, an entire hour's worth of time to give me. Well, they are starting to kill some of them, so that's good. And it looks like they are falling back. That is fine by me. Have the cavalry move back a little further then to respond. They're changing their angle again, though, so we'll change as well. Okay, they're fine. Artillery fire coming in once again. Nothing too interesting right there. That didn't really hit them. I don't know how they died. Okay, wow, a lot of them died from right there. Alright, we're over the hill and we can see them. Fifth company, go ahead and open fire the moment you are ready. There we go. And the others will be arriving soon. More artillery fire coming in. Good hits this time. Very good hits. 
And it is enough, it is driving one of the mobs back. The Hindu warriors and the last of the Bagheers are moving up, the 4th and the 6th companies. Six better you know, Hindus opening fire, good. Another battle line is forming, we're on to now the 4th battle of this battle. Ooh, good hits from the artillery. They were nice and clumped together right there. However, so sick. Go ahead and do this. Go ahead and move the generals up here as well to provide more support and fire. You guys back there, not that we need to, but just good practice to have a cavalry unit by the cannons to keep them defended. There may be some collateral fires with the infantry shooting overhead. And there they go, they are retreating. Well, I believe it was artillery fire that was able to do it. And there they go, the battle is won. But we'll keep it up to mop up, even though this is a city battle, so they're all going to die either way. The experience points needed. I will take every advantage I can get. Yeah, sometimes it'll be really easy to all just go in a line like this and you can mop them up no problem. Other times it's uh, all over the map, like those guys are, still. When the time comes, go ahead and stop that. Again, as you can see, it's a little difficult to tell how many are left. I think 320 artillery. Why are you still firing? Stop firing. I told you not to. Nope. There they go. That's them gone. Okay. Lost less than a thousand, so that's good. And let's see. Injukuri is a confident general based on understanding of the arts of war. Okay, so nothing good, nothing bad. And steady under fire for Janili plus one morale in battles. All right. Yes, sir. Which I believe is you, right? Yeah. We now have another region already. Can we keep on pressing the attack? We can, and we will have reinforcements as well. So I say we keep pushing and deal with these guys. Also, just going to say this, the reinforcements range is ridiculously huge, which I really like. Because I've been in so many battles where my allies will never be in range. Granted, most of the time the allies are dumb AI, but allies are still allies. What's the point of having them if they, don't actually, if they can't actually get involved in the fights that you need them to get involved in? Alrighty. Looks like they'll have the high ground advantage. That's a pretty good angle right there. So yeah, we'll have you guys right there. One of the cavalry's over there. Another one over there. Stretch out a line like that. And then we'll move them kind of down like right here at this base, but n not too far down because I don't want to give them too much of a hill advantage if I can avoid it. Swordsman right over here. Now, because they do have cannons, we got to be a little careful with our general. Or they can easily one-shot the general. I don't like that because the balls can bounce. 
put you over there. I want you guys to run. You guys over here. Their cannons are right there. And no, no, too early, too early. And we already took one out, so that's good. And it looks like they are falling back just enough. I'm gonna go ahead and reform the line right there. Start moving up the cavalry as well. And, uh, generals, I want you to move over here if you can. Start running. They're probably going to go in for the charge, so we'll bring in our lancers to respond. Yep, they're going for it. They're going to try and take out my artillery. They change course. Over here. Target those guys instead. Lancers go in to reinforce. No. No, no, no. Right there, right there, right there. Go for them. Ooh, yeah. Perfect example of why I always try and hide my general. One good artillery strike and boom, he's gone. No. No. Alright, alright. Give up. Give up right there. Let's go over there. A little more messy than I would have liked, but okay. And there these guys go. Oh wow, these guys broke. Interesting. They should be back. There's so many of them. And right here, cavalry mopping up these cannons with massive overkill. Okay, let's go ahead and reform. And pull back. Rush to it. No, still going. That's fine. I want you guys to run as well. Let's come up right here. And they do still have a little bit of a hill advantage. Come on, boys. There you go. See, it's not when you play this game that you kind of realize why having the uphill advantage is really so apparent. Because, like, before, unless you had pretty good examples of, like, a spear trying to keep someone down as they try and climb, it doesn't do it real justice to see the major advantage. But when you have a weapon that naturally goes upwards when you fire it, aiming down is pretty beneficial because you're more than likely just hit the enemy behind them. 
However, experience from the last trade-off with these guys just goes to show. We'll go ahead and end this a little more quickly, send in the cavalry. They'll probably break before they actually get close. Let's see. What's that? There it is. Yep. They got relatively close, but they still broke. Oh man, Link guy did a goofy. Yeah, you're not firing? Okay. As long as you're not firing. And uh, artillery, don't fire either. Just in case, you never know. Do believe that is it. Okay. You'd be I'd be amazed at like how many of these um, smaller battles have actually turned into pretty big battles if you're not too careful with them. Uh, we lost less than two hundred. That's a really good fight for us. Yeah, they're still around the general still alive. <laughs> However, it's actually kind of good not to kill the generals because if you keep on defeating them, the generals will just get worse and worse traits so that when you fight them, their armies are pretty, pretty weak. The general uh, mentioned in dispatches, plus one morale, which was normal with your good parts. Okay. Your Majesty. However, we can't pursue them anymore. Uh, we'll use what little money we have left to finish repairing that one. Okay, so we have that group over here. Nothing's really going on down here. Research is going good. Oh my god, it's still the first turn. This has been the entire first turn, this entire hour. Holy shit. Okay, um... Portugal... They're allies with Great Britain. Um, let's see, they're trade partners with the Mughals. I do have the Dutch and the Austrians on my side. Mm, but yeah, public opinion is unfriendly towards them. Okay, you know what? We'll leave them be for right now. Everyone's done. We're basically broke. We'll go with that. So we still have one group behind us. Poland, Lithuania wants military alliance, military access, a single payment of 600. Uh, da, da, da. Your enemies, Prussia. Yeah, it's been a while, so I don't exactly remember the go-to for relationship-wise. But they're not really affiliated with anyone we currently know, so I don't see a point to them. Yet. Yeah, they're going to go out raiding. Yeah, see, now, in Empire Total War, raiding is really profitable to have your units go out and destroy these smaller villages around. Oh, bastards going for the university, too. So you can quite literally just cripple an entire enemy nation just by... Oh, they assassinated my, um, I don't really know what it's called for a Buddhist, actually. We'll just call them that. They assassinated our Buddhists. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here. Yeah, see, uh, export but this is also another good reason why not to ally too much right off the bat, because the entire Europe just kind of blew up right there. 
Enemy raid, enemy raid, enemy raid. A uh, suspicious death. Yep, the Portuguese assassinated them. Poland, Lithuania, and Denmark alliance broken. A worker strike in Amundagar. Okay. Path blocked. Let's see. The Dutch and the Spanish have declared war. Prussian and Poland, Lithuania. Russian, Sweden. Sweden, Denmark. Alright, let's start mopping up these guys out here. Let's see. Yeah, 342. I don't know about that. Okay, so just evidence of not trusting out of resolve. So those are all being repaired. Our infrastructure is being built. The naval recruitment is still ongoing. Nothing's all done. Nothing's all done. Uh, here we go. That's right. Go ahead and upgrade you to some cobbled roads. And we'll go ahead and upgrade you to uh, Thakur's court. Pass the units in the region. Yeah, see, unfortunately, I don't know how to tell your garrison size or what is what becomes part of your garrison. 3% bonus to region tax income, plus one to the repression. No one's really happy, but no one's ready to fight for it just yet. A lot of our profits do come from farming... Devastation by armies, subsistence, agriculture, villages are not growing. No villages left. Okay. Let's see. Um, you would actually be better to hunt these guys, and you, with your cannons. Unfortunately, with this, it does mean we quite literally have to fight every battle because... Against that general's unit, even if it is a general's unit, losing th 234 of our army, when I figure we could do so much better, yeah, so it's going to take a bit. Only one truth about war, people die. I mean, he's not wrong. All righty. Not the best spot for cannons, that's for sure. Especially with the only good high ground being right here. And there's a giant little cliff right there. Now, it is only a general unit. Actually, this is not too bad right there. We'll take that. You guys over here. Calvary is not a good matchup against elephants, so we'll leave them be. Yep, yeah, and he has to come to us. And when he does, we'll just have this one big killing field right over there. General, let you go ahead and come over here. Cavalry, come over here as well. Now, uh, we don't really need to plan this much, so I'll just go ahead and triple our speed now. Yeah, 
see. There, come on, there's only three left, and I didn't lose anybody. See? Granted, granted, now I'm just realizing this guy's a much smaller unit, but even still. There we go. The other thing is, with these small battles, we get better and better traits coming our way as well, as he is now a brave soldier, so plus two is two morales in battle. Inspiration by example to his men. This general rightly has a reputation for bravery. Okay, good. And he has also got a cavalryman, plus one command when leading cavalry units. Okay. Okay, another thing is... Um, this attribute in their chosen field. I don't know what this means, to be honest. I get attribute level, but I don't see like any direct correlation of benefits unless maybe it's under the government thing for the ministers. I think it is. Again, unfortunately, the text is a little too big or out of place either way Shovel family tree Tarabai and no I think that's it Tarabai the first making over 5100 that's not bad and trade right here what's valuable cotton's at 20 to that's t wait cotton and tobacco right no t but it looks like t is not that expensive right now <laughs> oh excuse me sorry yeah it's really spices that they want Yeah, no, we'll go for cotton, I guess, because that's what they want. You're building up right there. Okay, and you, because I do need to train up all of them. Yeah, maybe they can reach in time for reinforcing. Not that we'll need them, but if we get them involved in fight, that's uh, better chances for them to get the additional perks as well. Perks. Traits. And have you guys go out as planks. We'll leave our allies spawning somewhere over here on the map. Yes, right here. Okay, so they don't have any of the firepower on this side. It's all right over here. So you guys will come in from over here, hit these guys. These guys will move in at the same time, hit them from there. And because these guys are only melee, not too worried about them. Not to mention, we have more cavalry coming in. Come on, Lunters. Well, yeah, just against an armed mob having cavalry alone, I think should be enough. Oh, look at that. Here comes more cavalry. They are trying to readjust. Keep on inching closer and closer. The cannons won't reach here in time at all, so I have no worries with them moving. Oh, 
Let's just get his time as any. And then when they change, these guys will move in as well. Yep, go for it. Guys come in. Guys get over there. And first charge, good. Second charge, good. Third charge. Good. Fourth charge. Good. That was actually really well timed. That gave each charge just enough breathing room to do some damage and then the other ones came in. Wow, that, I was actually really surprised by how well that was timed. I don't think we lost a single person. You guys get in there as well now. Is that all the cavalry? Yeah, no, that's all the cavalry. I was thinking I was going to have to use my general to bait them a little bit. Oh, no, we did lose someone. Oh. Oh, I mean, losing one out of all of that is still pretty good. He, uh, his horse tripped and fell and took him with it. Alright, yeah, let's just go ahead and mop, speed up this mop up. There we go. Look at all those chevrons. I don't know how vital it is for experience in this, though. Like in Warhammer, didn't really matter. Rome 2, vital. So, you know what? We probably will use Janili as, like, just the mop-up guy to deal with any raiders. Because he's only got calories, so he can move pretty fast. So, if we keep his army small... And just have him go around and patrol the area. I do want to get um, um, uh, Gujarat. Because it does have a port right there. We do that. We choke off their money for the Mughals. But we would be annoying the Portuguese. But I guess that just means they'll have to get an agreement with us. But yeah, the other issue is their only other port, the Port of Bengal, will be a problem because that would probably bring in some people if I can get my navy over there and keep that area burned out. I can deny them that. And then we can keep on pushing over here. We will be at risk with these guys, though. Everything's done, though. We're back to being broke. Go ahead and end right there. <clears throat> Fuck. Ally attacked Poland, Lithuania, the aggressor with Russia, Saxony, and Courland. Uh, has attacked Austria. And they'll call on Wurttemberg, Bavaria, Venice, the Dutch, the Great Britain, and us, of course. So we're going to enter that war on their side. Hopefully, it won't spill over here. Damn it, they already have a ship out here. And as you can see, it's going to move ridiculously fast. Let's move this up. Yeah, all the way from the port of Bengal. That's how far ships can move in this game. Well, at the very least, this game in Darth Mod. Uh, rice patties. There's a thuggy among us. Okay, we do have our first fifth rate. And artillery gained for 
Jack and Oz, he's got Mistress, plus one happiness to nobility. It is an Admiral. Naval Combat still is um, not by mess suit, even the couple times I did play with it here. So, we'll see how that goes. And, um, yeah, sorry, heading this way. And you try and take out some of these smaller groups around here with your cavalry. Again, unfortunately, we have to fight it because I don't trust the AI. It does give us a lot of chances to see things. And to be fair, like I always say, if you don't really fight the battles and look in to enjoy the battles, you're not really playing Total War. Granted, I can understand why some people be like, oh, I've seen it a thousand times, I don't want to watch it anymore, and just try and win the battle as best I can. I'll never get tired of it, though. It's like one of the reasons what made me fall in love with the series. But, it's another one of those ones that if we time it right, we don't have to worry about anything. Just have them all selected. Let's move right here. Let's move right there. And we'll see from the first direction he turns. We'll go with the one opposite of that. You guys can move up as well. Start getting closer. Yeah, that should be close enough right there. So I know for sure. Which way are you going to look? I mean, at this rate, it won't matter. Go! Yeah, they're confused. They're like, what do we do? What do we do? There's nothing we can do. First charge, good. Second charge, good. Enemy general is dead. And third charge coming in. I uh, got a little intercepted by the second charge. No worries. Mop up, people. If it was a general, I would have let him go, because this way he may have gotten like a cowardness debuff on him, but this is just a captain. Let's see, did we lose any? I don't see anyone. We may not have lost anyone this time. Oh boy, this one, those ones, going to take a bit. If, if they can, like, get that little cluster right there, I'll be happy. Yeah, no, okay. We'll call it right there. Heroic victory. It's not heroic. It really wasn't that bad, but I'm pretty sure the AI could have made it worse. Yeah, we didn't lose a single person in that. Alright, nothing special from that one, unfortunately. And then as for you guys, let's go ahead and get your replenishments up. Same for you and you. So that's our main army for right there. I'm kind of keeping these guys back in reserve just in case they uh, come at us with anything. Wow, my money's really hindered by that one thing right there. 
What is this, unfortunately? No, it is a trading port. But I got a gem mine right here, right? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't actually give us a trade good. It just gives us wealth. Okay. Okay, that makes sense then. God damn it. I was trying to click on infrastructure, but I guess I was too low, and I just canceled that thing. So now we got to wait an additional three more turns to get back. Damn it. Right. Prepare that. And let's in there. occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas now will increase your nation's trade income later. Okay, our infrastructure is going good. We got the two roads, small cotton plantation, and a school of arts. Single can as you get over here. No. Okay. Two camels, Islamic swords, some pikes, some musketeers, and some mob. Is that a general in there? No. There's no point to sabotage it either. Uh, you know what, Thuggy, give me eyes over here, because our armies are going this way, so give me eyes over the area where we're not in force. Yes, sir. Another easy one, we'll just send the cavalry in to mop this guy up real quick. But again, I do not trust the AI one bit. Hmm, what I should be doing as well before each of these battles, and this is actually probably good, is that we'll do quick saves in case of crashes, because they do happen. Uh, yeah, you guys just head right over here. It should be pretty straightforward, I believe. And you guys, general, just hide off over there. Oh, they didn't even unlimber them. This is... It's done. They go. Maybe. I'll be very disappointed if they do get a shot off. Faster. Oh, boy. Faster. Oh, boy. Faster. Come on. Oh, that's... Okay. Okay. Good. Good. That was much closer than I thought they would. Yeah, too easy. Okay. Beautiful set. That finishes that one off. Uh, you know what? I will go ahead and get him replenished. You go. <clears throat> excuse me. You go ahead and besiege here if you can. Damn it! Too far away. Get you guys. Okay. It means we won't have the cannons right off the bat, but it will depend on what their defenses have. Okay, they only have one mortar. I 
I can make this work. Fuck, I forgot the quick save. God damn it. This will probably be our first big battle in a while. Well, definitely depends on your definition of big battle. Okay, so my ally should be directly behind me over here. General, you stay back just in case. I do not want to lose you to an accident or to an early shot. Now, if anything is precedent, maybe their artillery is directly in front of us again. I don't see... I don't see... Damn, I don't see it. Nope, wait, there it is. Hold back. However, seeing as how it's only a garrison unit, I don't expect it to be overly accurate. And unfortunately, our cavalry is not really a good matchup against their cavalry, seeing as how it's camels. We may have a window right here. Yeah, see, their mortar is highly inaccurate. General, you stay right here. Where are my reinforcements? It's right over here. Okay, so it looks like the battle's going to be over here. I'm going to go for it. Unfortunately, it looks like our reinforcements are coming in a very awkward way. You guys come over here, provide any assistance just in case they do charge us. General, my general, provide support and fire. What's doing? Uh, I think they're going to be able to make it. It's a flintlock arm populace, so yeah, what was that? Okay, so unfortunately, it looks like the issue of uh, turning artillery is also in empire which figured I'll keep on killing them okay they're going yeah that oh boy our reinforcements are gonna come in so slowly Again, this is why we set it to an hour length. But most importantly, we got rid of their artillery. I mean, if we could get to this hill, that'd be perfect, but there's no way they would give us that room. So, this actually right here isn't that bad of a hill. No, come on. This is how my reinforcements are going to get in? Oh, that's, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. Um, I don't want to give them so much time because I honestly don't know how long that will take. We'll, we'll try experiments, and it's the best I can do. You guys go ahead and move up just a little bit closer, because if they charge or set up a firing line right here, they're just going to pick us off like nothing. It's weird playing these games without any sound. So unless we're doing like a chase or a mop-up operation... Even if we're just moving like this, I'd rather it go like that and I hear something than nothing. Now, 
Camels do have a debuff because they are considered an exotic creature and they stink as well. This is literally what it says. So if we send our cavalry against them, it's not going to be that great of a matchup. But I'm wondering if we hit them with a three-way charge, maybe we can deal some decent damage. Or at the very least, if I can just get one group of my reinforcements through... How long is this conga line? Holy shit. Right, I'm gonna try and triple speed our way again. It doesn't look like they're gonna do any shifting though. Come on, if I just have like one group, I can get them to focus on these Hindu musketeers. Oh boy, they're finally on the last line. <laughs> it's such a huge line, though. How far is it going? You know, you're all going to get very tired debuff by the time you reform because of how spread out you are. Are they doing anything? No. That's like the only saving grace here is that they actually are letting this happen. Okay. Our second unit, because technically we got the general first, uh, but our second reinforcing unit is here. Hey, there we go. Thank God. Just, no, no. Reform over there first, because that's a really bad. Oh boy, we got cavalry next. Well, the cavalry will actually be a little faster. But still, I would rather prefer a group of musketeers or the bagheers. Start running. It will just take too long. Oh, oh, shifting. I think maybe a chance. Those Islamic swords are probably my really main concern, and those are pikemen, so they won't be able to shoot us right away. They are hugging that line, though. Yep, we have a chance. I'm going to try and take it. Run them down. Get as many as you can. Alright, nope, nope. Call it off right there. Yeah, I'm populist. Okay. I thought they were flintlocks, but even still. That is still pretty decent. Got a good charge on the Islamic Swordsman. If I can just get rid of those camel nomads, it will be a lot safer for my cavalry to get in there. Okay, they're all in. Hindu warriors, go ahead and move up. You guys, go ahead and move up right here. You'll provide some support at the very least. Looks like the swordsmen are switching over to the right side, so we'll go ahead and bring the cavalry over as well. Oh, boy. I'm going to stick it out, though. I'm going to stick it out. This is my battle. I can win this. Yeah, move you a bit more central. It will leave you to fire from multiple directions. We have to.
The line does look like it's reaching further than the Hindu warriors, but they are on horses, so that may be why. Ah, they're shifting the swordsmen again. Here. Are we almost done with this line? No. Hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Camels are moving up. Oh, yeah, they're coming up here. Come on, guys. There we go. General right behind should be providing fire support pretty soon. There we go. Chase them off. Chase them off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please tell me you're going to keep moving. Oh no! No! What is that? They stopped moving! <laughs> no, the reinforcements! Oh, what the hell? Okay. Okay, it's these guys again. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. If, again, if I can just get rid of these guys, we're gonna have to make do with only one group of musketeers and a bunch of cavalry. Shit. Shit. Okay. Dude. Open fire. Okay, okay. They broke off. They broke off. Damn it. That's, uh... That really sucks. Alright, um, split up the cavalry a little bit. Okay, they're coming in for another charge, that's fine. Everyone should be reloaded by then. You guys pull back, I don't want you disturbing that front line. So I'm trying to move and just get there, there you go. Okay, open fire again. Come on, generals. All right, good. We pushed him back. There we go. Now he's fired. Over here. I can't believe. I still can't believe that. Okay. Uh, I don't want to scare them off just in case. No, they may be going, going. Okay. Ah, oh, they were shooting them in the back. God. Balls. Again. Okay. I did not want that to happen. I was thinking, it's like, this line looks so much thinner than it should be. Why is that the case? Because the general's been popping our soldiers in the back. These are the one units I didn't want to lose. It's such a blob right there, it would be perfect. I hear screaming. May want to open fire. There you go. 
Unfortunately, they're probably going to have to deal with the charge because I do not want these guys shooting them in the back. What are you doing? It may have a debuff against them, but get in there, try and assist. Musketeer, just try and get out of there if you can. Come on, pull your guns out. Pull your guns out. Here, I'll, I'll stop you and then do it again like that. Alright, go around this way. Oh my god, please open fire. Thank you. The cavalry would not have been able to hold on if not for that. Okay, and are those, those are the Islamic Swordsmen? Okay. I don't want those guys engaging us in melee. Come over here, we'll get some hammer and anvils for you. Square right there. Just open fire with everything you can. Generals, leave them around. You guys, go ahead for the charge. Uh, you two split up. Right, first charge is good over there. Yeah, no, you want come over here. I want you helping get rid of these guys. Keep running that way, keep running that way. You guys run as well. Alright, that charge from right there should finish these guys off, hopefully. Oh, General, get out of there. Let me go ahead and over there. Ah, no, they got him. Oh, no, wait, enemy General killed. Oh, I thought that was our General for a second. Okay, I'm about to say. Keep on, keep on, get out of there. Chase those guys, get rid of them. That was a good hit, whoever just killed that general. Alright, the Islamic swordsmen are dealt with. Let's go ahead and reinforcements. Reinforcements, my foot. Okay, so right now my concern is, believe it or not, those pikemen, because they're the only threat to my cavalry. Lose that cavalry, lose the fight. Maybe my people can take pot shots at them. Right over here, right there, and you back over there. Not to mention, we can tire them out doing this as well. Alright, they've opened fire. Let's 
Alright, they're going for this channel now. You two go in there, those guys are pretty isolated. Charge in on these guys. Try and get them to break. Alright, these guys have got good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You break away from them, all of you just focus on this one group right here. Oh my god, we may actually win this. Let's reform. Oh, you're not supposed to be there. You guys. Okay, okay, pull back, pull back. Here come the pikemen. General, get back as well. Keep going, keep going. There is a gap right here. Charge right through, grab those musketeers. There you go, there you go, there you go. Break them, break them, break them. You guys turn around. Now nah, they don't have any charge in there. You guys keep on running away. Uh, keep chasing these guys out of here though, if you can. Okay, good. Mass routes. Okay, I'm going for these guys. You guys come over here. Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god. That <laughs> fucking reinforcements. Yeah, no, keep it going. Now it's the time to train them up even more. All the all the more proof why you want them to be as badass and elite as possible as quickly as you can. Oh, this cavalry has saved us so many times in this game just so far. Good thing is, is they just pass by them. They're just trying to kill them as well. I think we get more experience taking out the pikemen rather than the mob. Now, unfortunately, it's also one of those episodes of uh, it has no brain and can't figure out where to go. Here, what if I just do this for you? There you go. Just naturally killing them off as they run right by. Oh shit. Elephants are still falling. Alright, well, they're right there. Lost 216, but I mean, that's still pretty good. 
All right, he is an attacking general, plus one to command when attacking on land. Region captured, very nice. And repair those things. And now we have another trading port. What is on the trade menu? Cotton. More cotton, I guess. Good. The thuggy's all done. You guys are replenishing. Uh, these guys definitely deserve it, so replenish for you as well. If we're back to being broke. Navy is still recruiting, yes. And nothing going on currently. Go ahead and hop into these woods right here, just in case. I trust this group right here. All right, and that right there. Austria and Prussia alliance broken. Construction completed. Unit recruited. Okay. So, now that that's done, we'll go ahead and send this guy over here, knock them out over here. Go ahead and start repair work right there. We have a group of some. What's your name? Dervishes, okay. Meanwhile, we'll go ahead and have these guys come over here, attack them. Damn it, I keep on forgetting to do the quick saves. Okay, this has been a while. Naval combat was the only amazing... Well, no. It wasn't the only amazing thing, but it was such an incredible thing when this came out. Alrighty. Unfortunately, the wind is against us, so we're going to be going slow. Wow, really badly slow. Okay, you know what? We'll actually turn a little bit because I think going if he is going by the wind, then he'll turn this way. So try and hit him. Oh god, what are they called? Broadside. Oh, no, wait, they're all broadsides. Never mind. I honestly don't remember. Port and... Where else it was? It is only a brig, and compared to our fifth rates... That the muskets fired? Yeah, no, I think it's the muskets that were firing. See, just look at all these little details. All these people running around trying to maintain the ship or look of maintaining the ship. And it should begin any second. There it goes. Mm. 
not the best firing. To be fair, being fifth rates does make us bigger targets. They are breaking already, though. Good. I had to hit, let that last volley off. If possible, we don't want to actually damage it because we get uh, prize money. Well, I thought we did, but I guess not. Oh, no, they retreated. That's what happened. Okay. Yeah, cruise, go to shoot. Okay, that's fine. Oh, shit. Actually, if that's the case, we should have actually finished them off. Damn. I don't want them running around out there, though. So we're going to have to go hunt them down. Where or where did you go? There you are. Um, let's see what an auto resolve Navy does. It is only just one ship. Yeah, look at that. We captured him. We get some prize money, 490. It's not a lot, and to be honest, um, yeah, no, I'll get the prize money more than I care about a brig. And there it goes. Right? Alrighty, come on back. With that, the port should be open and money should be flowing into us next turn when it is repaired. These guys will be replenishing. Come on, there you go. Alright, and then we got the dervishes to deal with, and you were the cab army, so that's you. Mm -hmm. Almost did again. I gotta say, I think I, uh, well, it's kind of hard to say because this is Darth Mod. It's not really Empire Total War. Empire Total War, yeah, no, it's, um, it's pretty bad. Darth Maul, however, it's just a, it's basically another game unto itself, really, is what it feels like. Granted, it doesn't have everything that you could want from a Total War, but it does a pretty good job with it. So, to me... Now that I think about it, this is probably the last one before, like, um, Commander Special Abilities really became a thing, or when they really started to diverge from it. No, that's not true, because there's... I think in the first Rome Total War there was ones like that. Lure them a bit more further in the valley first. Okay, now turn around. Simultaneous charge. Oh, 
feeling good. Third charge coming in right behind that. Devastating damage. These poor dervishes didn't stand a chance. Well, they're actually holding on pretty well still. Wow! No, I'll give them credit. They held on a little longer and did a bit of damage. I see a few horses down there. Enemy general dead. Up, just keep them off in the way. Wow, yeah, no, okay. They did pretty well. Alright, that's less than 10. We'll land it right there. Okay, so note to sell. Dervishes. Not to be underestimated. Pretty decent melee unit. Oh, and I do believe we just got some traits. Nice. All right. Great general. This man is properly counted among the great captains in battle. This trait is a permanent feature of this man's character. So, plus three to command in land battles. Okay, nice. Riding master, plus two command when leading cavalry units. Join several victories while leading a substantial cavalry force. General has all the dash and fire one would expect of a gallant cavalryman. Okay. Nicely done, then. Okay, you guys are near replenished. The Hindu warriors took a bit more damage. Hmm. Um, if I can keep up with my... Again, okay, so if we keep up with shipbuilding... Ah, damn, we're not going to get there in a single turn. Okay, but if we rush over there with our ships, we can at the very least keep them corralled in there for a little while. Uh, bring you back to hunt down any issues. You guys are holding out here just fine. Where do I send the main army now? I could easily take Udapur. Udapur or I could keep on going along the coast. That would put me butt to butt with the Persians, though. How do they feel about us? Persia unfriendly. Yeah. So if we go butt to butt with them, we could end up triggering their ire. Because they are trade partners with the Mughals. The Mughals could ask them to join in on the fight, which I would not really like. Let's see. So we are trading with them. Uh, we are friendly with them, but trade fortune and home region are at full capacity, so we can't trade with them just yet. We could trade with the Ottomans. They're indifferent to us. Barbary Swage, Crimea and Connet. A lot of trade partners with them. Okay, no, I will think we'll go ahead and move a little bit inland first. I don't want to anger the Persians in any way too badly by going right on the borders. Quick save once again. No mortars this time, so that's good. We're in a war, damn it. We're going to have to offend somebody. That's a fucking great quote right there. All righty.
where we want these cannons facing. This is a pretty good angle right here. If there's anything higher behind us, nope. Or, actually... Yeah, no, we can force the fight over here, because we're the ones with the cannons. Lime goes up right here. You over here. Cavalry, I want you right here. And Boston, I want you behind all of that. Alright. There we go. Mm, yeah, right there. Cavalry, I want you up right here. You guys over here. And artillery is firing away. So the hills right here should protect our cavalry from any fire, and if we're quick enough with them, we should get a downhill charge as well. Battle lines right there. The Hindu warriors move right there if you can. And the barrage from cans coming in. Beautiful. The balls that you have to have on you to actually just go ahead and agree to fight in a war style like this is just astronomically huge. Probably because they were sick, though, and that's why their balls were swollen. But even still, damn. Yeah, they're a bit more off to the side than I would like. Wheel about. Hindu warriors are still moving in. Good. There is a group of musket men into the back that they still haven't brought up, so we'll see where they go. But the lancers are ready to answer. Uh, you know what? Run, because they're really close right now. Cannons, you got another round in for me? That's a yes. Good hits right there. And they are opening fire. We got a group of armed populace heading for the cavalry though, so let's go ahead and adjust for that. Alright, we'll go ahead and for the charge. Get a shot off beforehand, doesn't look like it. Alright, you guys go in as well. Very good charge, second charge coming in. Good as well, over here. The armed populace has come into melee, no worries. The bag here should be able to hold out against them. Cannons concentrate fire on the muskets. Alright, cavalry one up there. They're actually struggling a little more than I would like them to. I should have the Hindus back over here. Yeah, we'll bring these guys back around. I'm fairly confident they should be able to win against the armed populace. Cannon's still firing. Oof, yeah, this is, uh, that's not going the way I was hoping it would go. But they are finally breaking. Okay, good. Come on, no time to stand around, so shocked. Look over there. Okay, less than 50. You guys go ahead and come on back. More cannons coming in, targeting the musket men. 
Lines are reformed and they are resuming fire. Good. Have we go ahead and keep on moving up. Oh yeah, there they go. They're breaking. Cavalry start running, try and keep pace with these guys. I love it when the cannonballs bounce and hit a unit they were not aiming at for at all. Yeah, let them go by. The only flip fire locks, they're not going to do anything against our bad gears. Yep, just stay back over there. It looks like they are going to re-rally, so we'll let them be. And you guys should be firing any second. There we go. And you know what, you guys come over here. Yes, going in column formation, not the best idea. Oh shit, yeah, close enough. You guys go ahead and reform like so. Cannon should be firing again any second now. There they go. Ah, oh, would have been best if they were going for these guys. You guys go ahead and move forward over there. And you guys should be opening fire any second. Let them have it. Ah, you guys go ahead and run them down now. I see some cannon fire right here on this column unit. See how bad the damage can be. Oh, here it comes. Oh! That massive line that just opened up right there. That isn't even with canister shots either. It's going to be a massacre when we get canister shot. Take a while to get through all that, that's for sure. Can fire going off again. No, that one wasn't really great. If you literally just stand right there like these two guys are and just poke, you'll be fine. There you go. Just gotta poke them all to death. Cannons, you got any more? It looks like they're going to completely ignore the infantry. Problem is that hill right there. That one was a bit better. Alright, also let's just go ahead and fast forward. It looks like this is mainly mop up. Because the cannons will eventually force these guys to retreat. Yeah, they're already starting to break. One more good hit should... Ah, oh. And see, you get situations like that where you actually get like the perfect cover. Because it hits right here and bounces harmlessly off. Back up. Next hit's coming in. Bad. Okay, not terrible. One more. Nah. It's kind of 
really hoping the cans would do it for me. Okay, they gave up. And of course, they're, they're now hiding in said perfect spot. This works. Oh, wow, that was a beautiful one. And they're going to run right into a bunch of musket fire. Oh, they're going for the charge. Did not work out well for them. All right, mop up. Go ahead and stop firing. I think my Lancers might be my most experienced unit and most helpful unit out of everything. Enemy general dead, good. And you are below 50. Alrighty. Lost less than 200 people. I'll take it. Right, there is an Imam over there. Uh, no, I want eyes over here, though, because we haven't bothered with this side at all. And if they are sending a fleet down from Bengal, my two fifth rates might not be enough. Right, we still got these guys over here. You need repairs. Everyone is still pretty strong. We could take their capital. That would take away a lot of their money. Yeah, as long as they keep trading with the Ottoman Empire, they'll still have some cash flow, but nowhere near enough. And we don't have any rogue raiders coming around. We're still relatively safe down here. So yeah, we'll give it a couple turns for that army to recuperate. And how much money are we making? Nah. Oh yeah, the port's still not repaired, so we won't be able to tell just yet. I think now's the time to expand, though. Let's go ahead and get some more line infantry. Because technically, we're still at war with the other European powers because of our alliance. So it only takes them a couple seconds to be like, hey, let's go over here instead. In fact, I never did do the audio check. How's it sound? Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas now... Yeah, just sounds very far away. Trading come later. Okay, let me... Try to move it close, but also try not to, like, overstimulate it with the sound of the keyboard and the mouse. Yeah, that may be something I can't avoid, though. Oh, a little echo never hurt anyone. There's something like that. Infantry, okay. Let's go ahead and start heading over here, though. Some cannons, okay. Looking over here, maybe my th you know what? Maybe my thuggy can sabotage it, so I don't actually have to send these guys over here. Path blocked. Fifty-six percent chance. Can you do it? Nope. I think you use literally all your movement just to get right there. Okay. Here, reinforce them. You go over here to reinforce him. Uh, 
I got a feeling. Yeah, watch these cannon crews right here. Okay. There we go. With that trade port back up and running, our money has skyrocketed. Go ahead and just keep working on that infrastructure as well. Let's see, how's this army doing? So pretty strong. And over here, some camel gunners, a garrison. That's not too bad. And we would have a reinforcing... Well, next turn we'll have a reinforcing line infantry, so we'll get a bigger lineup. So that's not bad. You are doing okay, but just keep watching over this area for right now. I don't want to move you out just yet because that is a walled settlement. Okay, yeah, no, we'll go right here instead. Two mortars this time. Okay. Well, if it's anything like before, they'll be right in the front and we can just charge them down. Okay, then. It's a good angle for our cannon, so not too bad right there, actually. You guys, right over here. You guys, will be right there. This time, sword's been directed behind. Over here. They're sort of in the front. I'm honestly not too worried about them because their accuracy is atrocious. Case in point. So I'll have the cannons target the camels instead. Aside from them and maybe the pikemen. I'm not too concerned about anything else. that. Swordsman right over here. We are getting some kills on the camel, so that's good. And bossman, you're safe-ish right there. I still don't want to risk a stray mortar shot. Is taking big chunks out of our line infantry, though. And unfortunately, this time they actually are defending it. Line infantry, go ahead and put a spring in your step. Get moving. Where's my artillery? Okay, there you go. You are still firing. If I can get rid of their camels, my cavalry can get in there without any real threats to them. back. Don't let those camels engage you. Yeah. 
Right over there, you guys. Come on, refund. There you go. Then you guys should have no problems just shooting them right there. And there we go, we're starting to break them. And fire on the camels. Hindu, Hindu warriors taking a beating from the waters, though. You know what? Uh, I will have my cannons start targeting the mortars. They're doing a lot more damage than uh, I was thinking they would. Come on, guys, get these camels out of here. Surprisingly, the cannons are more deadly targeting these mortars than they are targeting the enemies themselves. But with that, it looks like the mortar crews have been disabled, so that's good for us. It means we can take our time again. Camel's breaking. Alright, I do believe now it's the time. Let's go ahead and move up. Their mortar crews are trying to come back. Cavalry units, go ahead and move there. Someone's charging. It's the camels. Nope, they've gone to opening fire. Musket line is getting ready to receive. Still got some stragglers. Come on, guys. Oh, the mortar crews have returned. Mm, their tardiness will unfortunately cost them dearly. Kevin warriors have reformed over here, no problem. And gunfire is away. Okay, the mortars have retreated once again, so they're offline. Still doing well, though. How we go in here? Go for a charge. Hindu warriors, go ahead and reform. Now, unfortunately, it looks like charging your cavalry into your units accidentally does kill some of them. Okay, good to know. It has been a while again, so. Not entirely remember with all the rules. But I mean, it makes sense. Let's put it that way. Oh boy, that's going to be a nightmare for them to get out of there. So instead, you guys fight Hindu warriors, um, musketeers. We move up to assist. Let's go ahead and move over here. Hindu warriors, you're going to go around here. Ah, oh, damn. Right there. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's try and take care of this side first. Right. Okay, they're all there up and support the fire.
We are getting some friendly fire, but it's still working. Alrighty, they're gone. Guys, head right there. Right there. And hopefully they'll be able to take care of any of them. They are only fire locks, so they're not much of a threat. And right up here, these guys should be disappearing. Cannons. Really inaccurate from this distance, so nothing for it. Alright, there you go. Yeah, see the audio glitch. Oh, no, there you go. Let's say they're not shouting. Feels like they're actually doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, no, I'm losing a lot more cavalry than I was thinking. However, it feels like we're just losing more and more if we actually take them out, so it's probably better just to leave them in. Oh, we got the Hindu warriors coming in for a reinforcing charge. Come on, keep going. There you go. Oh geez, that's uh, that was a lot more cavalry dead than I was expecting. Okay, oh, well, we still won. Uh, less than five hundred. Okay. Blocked, we've been captured. Prepare that. Reinforce that. Alrighty. So next turn you can reach them. You're holding out right here, that's fine. You're fine over there. We're poor again. 5,600, come our way, that's good. Diplomacy wise, uh, I mean, there are a few people who are friendly with us, we just can't trade with them. And trade with Louisiana? Wait, that's considered its own thing? It's a protectorate of France, barber states, pirates, trade partners. Trade is trade. Looks like we'll commend them and therefore must be rejected. Okay. Um, why they would reject it, I don't know, but okay. Sure. Fine. Okay, I believe we're in there right there. And the Mughals got a bunch of raider units out there now. Uh, social contract done. 
More buildings built. Another fifth of the line is recruited. All right, how's it feel, you bastards? And go over here and reinforce the blockading fleet. So with that, we've choked the Mughals of their sea routes. And the only one it really affects, it appears to be, is the Dutch. Which is fine, Dutch. You should be trading with us, not the other way around. Alright, so, ooh, horse archers. It's gonna be a little interesting for you guys to capture them. Going this way, chasing them forward. Two cannons. Sears camels. Oh, well, I do have some traits gained. Uh, no sense of shame. Convention morality do not trouble this man except when it comes to spelling them. With too little to occupy this man, it's no wonder that his thoughts have become unsavory. Awfully away from the pleasures of the flesh would do much to change this man's character. I mean, it's a plus one to happiness, so I don't see how... Okay. Um, scholar, trade gain, research points per turn for enlightenment technologies. One, this man is read until his eyes have grown dim and his mind exceptionally sharp. The ability cannot be lost, only improved. Okay. This panel shows you the information about an agent working for your nation. His name, position on the map, personality traits, and attributes relating to his military ability. Okay, it's not stuff that I need to care about. Tech-wise, we are now on to empiricism, which will give us another 8% technology research rate. Keep on holding on to that. They're fine right there. Yeah, no. Now that we're making over 5,000, I think now's the time to expand the armies. So maybe you guys. And, um, you know what? I, I'll build you up because you were saying, yeah, we got a gem mined. 1,400 right there. So that's an additional 600 coins if we get that. Built. It's all built. Too expensive to build anything else there. And you. Uh, we'll build the barracks because if I'm right, I think the barracks is what actually gives us additional garrisons to help defend. Because other than that, I don't see how else we're supposed to get a garrison up here. I hate how it keeps on dragging my camera up like that so quickly. Okay, so you're fine. Uh, you're going to get a big reinforcement wave, so we'll be able to assault that place next turn. Um, and you know what? We'll bring up these Hindu musketeers from down south when this assault over here begins, because if not, they're just sitting here wasting time. Okay, next. Ah, oh, damn, I should have tried to assassinate that guy. It's okay, he's providing me eyes over here, so we got a bit more to see.
Going to try and occupy the fortress. Sure, go ahead. I don't really care about that one. Yeah, see, they gave it up just as quickly. It's like, wait, there's nothing out here. There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export capacity, improving income through international trade. Okay, done. Ancillary gain, the mistress, plus one to happiness for nobility. Yes. Right, you keep on chasing after those guys. Even if there are horse archers, a simple matter if you surround them, you can whittle them down to nothing. All right, you guys go ahead and join over here. Now, my thinking is the AI is dumb as all hell. So if we attack this settlement, their cannons are going to be in the center of their settlement, and they're going to fire out and break their own wall. So we won't actually have to do anything. They'll do it for us. Oh, we have a problem right there. Um, I'm pretty confident they'll be able to reach us the next turn, but we can't say for sure. We will have walls over here as defense, and the Hindu Musketeers, and four others. With the walls, I think we'll be able to hold that, so yeah, no worries. How we doing? We're doing just fine. Yeah, see, now that we took away their main source of income, they're desperate to come after us. Yes, me, Lord. And I was kind of thinking about going further this way, but with this army on the move, I think we redirect back toward to the capital. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys. Damn it, I forgot to quick save. Oh. Alrighty. Let's see, what do we gotta work with? Right there. Guys, go over there. You form up right here, and you guys come over here. Boss man, you're right here. They do have cannons, so I'll have to see if who they target. Oh, that's incredible shot right there. We not only killed their general, but we took out two of their cannons. That was an incredible shot right there. And we're still trying to unlimber. Wow, that saved us so many concerns. Just one good hit right in the beginning. Close for comfort right there. And we do want to be a little careful because if those Islamic swordsmen do charge us, that's going to be a lot of death on our part. Pikeman I'm not too concerned about. And you know what, Cannon Crews? Why don't you go ahead and target those swordsmen instead? Probably not going to hit these guys with how spread out they are. Let's 
So we need to bait them into an open area, possibly one at a time even, and then just gun them down to all hell. Come on, should be three more shots. Fire. Right, that one. Okay, well, I mean, three of the four can start targeting these guys, so as long as it works. Hell, I'll turn them like this if I have to. And then you guys come over here. And I'll get my kills worth from the cannons. Go ahead and fast forward while they try and readjust. Oh, wait, wait. No, okay, I think that they abandoned their cannons. They can't really get back to them. to adjust. Ah, oh, damn. We clipped our guys, but that last hit was really good over there. Come on, Lenters. Alright, good. You got them. Here. Cannons, if you can target one of the other groups instead. Alright, they broke apart. Try to reform and let these guys in here and let them shoot. guys work together just get rid of the last of them <clears throat> general kind of just be careful you don't get hit by a cannon accidentally over there they should be returning There's one group coming back, and there's another. Let's go ahead and start running. You guys should be able to get shots off this time. There we go. Now hopefully it'll be enough to break them.
Let's change the target to these guys. Should get a pretty good charge right here. There we go. Some of that was even downhill. Musketeers. There we go. Yep. Alright, finish that. You're done right there. And you just focus on the targets in front of you. Okay. Nicely done. Again, it feels weird without music, especially when we get moments like that. We'll land it right there. Lost less than 200 people. That's what I like to see. However, they are going to retreat. And that capital is going to be no joke of a battle. Holy shit. I need a thuggy over there to tell me what exactly I'm going to be dealing with. Yeah, I give it a shot. Hey, success. Or a bunch of this long swords. Okay, yeah, so we'll have the thuggy over here infiltrate. Tell me what I'm going to be dealing with because that's a lot. Like, sheer weight of numbers alone probably will win them that battle no matter what. Next turn, we'll be able to besiege right there. Misor. Misor has a really strong standing army. Whew. That is a lot of musketeers and a lot of dervishes, which we know is actually a pretty decent melee unit. Okay, I suppose we should be investing in our capital as well, because as we can see, having a strong capital, strong defense. So I'm doing that. Let's see, research points per turn for enlightenment, three, two percent technology research rate. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. Back down to being poor again already. Wow. Keep on investing in that infrastructure for that campaign movement speed. Seven hundred eighty-eight. Uh, can I recruit another soldier? You know, what? I'm going to start working on some cannons. Cannons are going to be really helpful in a bit. All right, next turn. What do we got? Poland, Lithuania. Their demand responses. It'll make clear how they feel about the Russians and how your relations stand. So, listen, part with some of your territories to ensure your continued good opinion. Oh, poor Lithuania. You got some balls on you. Um, you don't really have a connection to anyone we have connection to with. So, if we refuse you, they'll be on our side. Oh boy, those Mughals are concentrating. Bastard. Yeah, see, this is where I was saying, like, raiding parties are actually pretty decent now. It's weird that I have to say that for a really old game of theirs. Your is currently an absolute monarchy. 
This means the monarch makes all decisions and handpicks ministers without having to legally refer to a parliament or the people. Ministers can be fired and replaced out of hand by their ruler at any point. Okay. Enemy raid, enemy raid. And construction port done. Okay. Okay. Well, we have been recruiting some more units as well, so there is that. Not to mention, suffered a bit of raid damage over here. Go ahead and repair those. And what are you? Yeah, just the horse archers. Yeah, just look at all these little raid armies out here. Go ahead and besiege right here. Keep it under siege. And then, um, uh, I was kind of going to bring these guys up here, but with this army skulking around, I don't want to send these guys too far up. So we'll leave them be. And we got a bunch of mop up right here, but I do believe the hour is indeed upon us, folks. So it is time to say farewell for only a short, quick 10 ish minute break before we'll be right back. And as you can see, um, I think this is decent progress. I don't know for sure. We still have some raiding armies among us, including these camel gunners. So we're going to have to deal with that. But as you can see, we are progressing bit by bit. And we'll be going into some combat pretty quickly next time around. But that'll be next time. Until then, folks, I will see you in a short little bit. But if you are leaving, thank you so much for dropping on by. Hope you have a good morning night, where you may be. Hope you're keeping safe. Hope you're keeping warm or cold, whichever you should prefer. Um, I'm actually kind of good right now. I don't prefer any warmth or any cold. I know. Shocking. But if you want, stick around, and we'll be right back with some World of Warcraft classic Season of Discovery, whichever floats our boat, more than likely Season of Discovery, because we still got to keep up with that. And, of course, until then, I'll see you all later. And this has been Empire uh, Darth Mod. Very impressed. I'll admit that. Very impressed. It is not as bad as I thought it once was. So, yes, actually, to the question on the stream, it's not that bad. Anyway, quick 10 -ish minute break. Go to the bathroom, grab a drink, whatever you need, but we'll be right back. Still weird without music, though. <laughs> 